hello everyone. Um, I had my surgery today and um, I'm going to be saying um a lot and probably dragging on my sentences a lot because I'll, I'll have to admit I'm on Percocet right now and I've only been home for a couple hours so I'm, I'm very fresh from surgery and so if I'm talking really slow and saying a lot of ands and ums and things like that, uh, I apologize, but I really did want to take this video to update how I'm doing right after the surgery. <clears throat> Last night I could not sleep, um, probably understandably so. Um, I wasn't feeling absolutely terrified anymore, but you know, it, it's just, it, it's hard to sleep when you have a surgery such as this one the next morning. So I probably only got about an hour and a half of sleep. I was scheduled to be at the hospital at 6 a.m. I got there at 5.45. And they didn't touch me until 8.30, so there was a lot of waiting around. And I was very hungry, and I was very thirsty, but I dealt with it. Everyone at the hospital was amazing. They had amazing nurses, amazing surgeons. Um, Everyone I met was amazing, except for one of the anesthesiologists was kind of a bitch, and I didn't really like her at all, but um, everyone else was fantastic. It was great. Everyone was so nice to me. Uh, they bundled me up in, in nice hot blankies and everything because I was cold. So they really, really um, nice people there. So <clears throat> I, I went under, and I was probably under for a couple hours. Um, my biggest concern, obviously, was the nerves, the nerves in my face and um, what I was going to experience in feeling and not feeling in my face afterwards because, you know, there's always that risk that they could sever a nerve or nick a nerve or even overstimulate a nerve and then I kind of have a, a numb face that I can't control for a while, which is perfectly normal from what I hear from this procedure. Um, even if you're not permanently paralyzed, a lot of times you're temporarily paralyzed in certain areas of your face. Um, so I am so happy to say that I had an amazing surgeon who did a great job and I have full feeling all right in here. I can feel this. My lip is fine. Uh, full function there. The one thing I did notice before I left the hospital because my sister told me about it was my eyebrow. My left eyebrow I have control of my right eyebrow, I don't, so if I try to, see that? So I can lift my left and I can't uh, control my right yet. Um, that's no skin off my back. I don't freaking care. Um, it'll probably eventually come back over the next couple weeks. And, um, you know, it's like Botox, but for half my face. Hey, look at that. I can kind of move it a little bit. Do it. Yeah. Um, so really, really very excited uh, with how well they did with um, being wary of my nerves. If anyone watching this video is in the Massachusetts area and might have this procedure done, I would highly recommend uh, Andrea Caramonti was one of my surgeons. She works at um, Associates in Otolaryngology in Worcester on Elm Street. She did a fantastic job, um, really great at what she does apparently because I'm able to sit here and yap away. So um, if you are in the Massachusetts area and you do have this procedure coming up or you want to schedule a procedure like this, I would definitely talk to her because she's amazing. Um, so when I woke up from my surgery, the first thing I noticed was um, my ear on the right side really hurt. It hurt a lot. It kind of reminded me of a couple of years ago, I had a really bad ear infection. Uh, I went from completely fine to like curled up in a ball crying within four hours. Uh, the ear infection had actually ruptured my eardrum. It was extremely painful. If anyone's ever ruptured their eardrum, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it kind of felt like that. And I was very confused for a while as to whether or not I could even really hear out of it because it had that kind of muffled underwater sound in my ear. <clears throat> um, I'm pretty sure I can hear at least a little bit out of it, um, but I have this drainage tube um, coming out of the back of my neck and it's all stuffed up in there, so I'm sure that's why I'm 
<clears throat> excuse me, that kind of hurt a little bit. Um, I'm sure that's why I, I'm hearing those muffled sounds. Uh, so I am hooked up to a drainage tube, which is getting taken out tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. What it is is it's just a little tube that comes out of the back of my neck, and it's um, draining all the blood and fluid out of my head into this little pouch down here. Um, I am going to show it to you, so uh, be warned that it's, um, it's kind of gross. So if you don't want to see it, don't look. But so I'm attached to this little tube, and then all my blood goes into this little pouch. They already emptied it right before I left the hospital, so it's actually filling up quite nicely. I'm bleeding quite a bit. You can see it. It's actually like purpley. It's actually like a purpley color, and I'm assuming that's because there's um, not a lot of oxygen in the blood. Kind of cool. <laughs> kind of cool in a morbid way um, to see it all drain out like that. Uh, I do have to empty it twice a day and measure the amount of fluid and record it for them um, for tomorrow so they know how, it, how it's coming along. I do feel like I'm stuck on a leash full of blood and I've already, <laughs> I've already tangled it up a little bit, um, but I'm getting used to it and used to carrying it around and thank goodness I'm not going to have to do it for much longer. Um, so now for the good stuff that I know everyone wants to see is um, what it looks like at the incision site. So be forewarned, it is pretty nasty, it's pretty Frankenstein, uh, pretty Frankenstein right now, and because of the drugs I'm on, I assure you it looks a lot worse than it feels. I can't feel much in that area naturally, um, it's probably pretty numb, I'm not going to touch it to find out, but I'm going to go ahead and just turn my body, because I'm not really comfortable with turning my head all that much right now. Um, so right here you see my initials, CG. Um, they had me do that to mark off what side, so they knew um, without doubt what gland they're going to remove on what side of my face. So let me see if I can just kind of sit up here. I'm a little bit sore, so I'm just going to turn, and you should be able to see um, there's an incision that starts um, on the top of my ear right here, it goes down, it goes around the back, and I've seen other scars online um, where it just kind of loops down like that, but my surgeon kept stressing that she wanted to give me a, a, a pretty scar, if there is such a thing, because I'm so young. Mm -hmm. They wanted to make sure that I was going to look good afterwards. So they went ahead and made the incision all the way like down my hairline towards pretty much the back of my neck. Um, pretty ugly stitches. My sister said some of them looked like there was like a staple or two in there. To be honest, I'm not sure, and I'll have to look at this video just to find out. Uh, I'm not sure how close I can get here. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that. Um, but there it is. That's what they did to me. They do have to cut open a piece that big um, because they have to like flap my skin over um, to get a clear view of the entire gland. Even though the tumor is on the tail end of my gland, they wanted to remove the whole thing. And I'm assuming that's because um, sometimes they can be reoccurring if you do cut them out. So just get rid of the whole thing uh, if you do have the option, because it's not worth getting operated on twice. Um, so that's it for now. I mean, I'm not in any pain because I'm on lots of drugs. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would be. I'm still really shaky. Um, I feel really you know, dizzy when I stand up. So I'm not going to stand up. I'm going to sit right down on my bum, maybe watch a movie. I'm kind of tired, but I don't feel mentally tired, so I probably won't go to sleep until later on tonight. Because, um, honestly, I'm sick of lying around and just sleeping or half sleeping because I've been doing it all day. Uh, I think that's all for now. So I will update tomorrow when I have this thing removed, let you know how I'm doing. So take care, and I will update later. Thanks.